Welcome. This is what is happening on the sun today, the 21st of May, 2011. According to some religious sects, today is going to be the end of the world. If that is the case, this is the last video I'll be making. Otherwise, I'll see you tomorrow. It seems that the end of the world is not going to be brought about by solar activity, because the sun has been extremely quiet for the last 24 hours. We still have the same three numbered regions in the southern hemisphere, 1214, 1216 and 1218, but they're all single spots, and I don't expect any activity out of them. There is a new region appearing over the East Limb in the Northern Hemisphere, which is not as yet numbered, but it doesn't look too impressive at the moment, so I'm not expecting very much from that either. So let's see the evolution of these regions using the Solar Dynamics Observatory HMI data. You can see in this 48-hour white light movie how each of the regions has simplified, losing some of its smaller satellite spots and leaving just a large leading spot in each group. The regions are also magnetically simple. There's no mixed polarities. They're just simple leader-follower, leader-follower type of uh, regions and that structure generally doesn't produce any significant events. This is indeed the case when you look at the GOES X-ray plot. You can see that there are no significant events whatsoever over the last 24 hours and you can see that the background X-ray flux has dropped even further. So let's take a look at what's been going on in the corona by going to the SDO AIA instrument and looking at the 48-hour movie from the 171 Angstrom channel. Although there have been no major events, you can see as usual the corona is very active and dynamic. But let's see if there have been any filament eruption. For that we go to the Helium-2304 channel and we see in the southeast that indeed the filament that I was talking about yesterday at least had a partial eruption. So let's see if that eruption in the southeast produced a coronal mass ejection. For that we go to the Soho coronagraphs. First we'll look at the movie from the small field of view C2 instrument. And you can see that the bright streamer in the southeast does broaden and brighten at about the time of the filament eruption. However, there's a much larger coronal mass ejection in the northeast. Where did that come from? As we saw no evidence of a coronal mass ejection on the near side of the Sun in the Helium-2304 data, then we can only assume that it was on the back side of the Sun. We can confirm that using the stereo data. Here I have an image from the Stereo B spacecraft, which shows the coronal mass ejection from the side. In these images the Earth is on the right, but you can see that the coronal mass ejection is on the left, so that is indeed on the back side of the Sun. Here I'm sure is what you've all been waiting for, namely the update on the status of the comet. Here I've taken a magnified part of the Soho C3 field of view and turned it into a movie. You can see the comet faintly at the beginning in the bottom left and moving up towards the sun. As it does so it gets brighter and larger. At the very end I think you can begin to see that it's forming a tail. The streaks you see for a frame or two in each of the uh, chronograph images are not in fact comets uh, but are in fact cosmic rays hitting the focal plane of the instrument. The conditions in geospace reflect very much the quiet nature of the Sun. Although the coronal wind speed and temperature have gone up, the density remains fairly low. The rural zone is very quiet and the KP index has been varying between 0 and 1. So in summary then, the sunspot number is at 33, the X-ray background has dropped to A7, the radio sun remains at about 84 solar flux units. The solar wind speed has increased somewhat to 450 kilometers per second and the density is up to 0.9 protons per cubic centimeter. The KP index is rated as quiet. My forecast for the next 24 hours is that the chance of getting C flares is fairly low. The chance of M and X flares are very low indeed. The sunspot number will remain low. We'll still likely get some coronal mass ejections but the chances of a major geomagnetic storm in the next 24 hours is very low indeed. Looking at the longer term forecast, looking behind the east limb, there is no major regions due to return for the next five days. So I imagine the sun is going to remain very quiet for a while unless we get new regions emerging on the visible disk. If you would like more details about what's going on on the sun, follow some of the links in the description box below. If you want to see earlier editions of the sun today, go to my channel and they're listed there. So that's it for today. Keep safe. Bye for now.